Those who tune into a SpaceX launch will more often than not see a Falcon 9 rocket launch from here, Space Launch Complex 40. Out of the 310 Falcon 9 rockets that have launched as of March 15th, more than half launched from this pad. Missions ranged from elaborate telescopes like the European Space Agency's Euclid, Four power engines and liftoff, to Earth observing spacecraft like NASA's PACE mission, but the structure beside the rocket seen during the most recent launches opens up a new world of opportunities for SpaceX and its customers, mostly NASA. The Crew Access Tower at Pad 40 is similar to what's in place over at Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The one at Pad 40 will now allow SpaceX to launch Dragon missions from both of its Florida-based launch pads. It gives us the flexibility that if there's ever a, a traffic conflict on 39A and two missions have to launch at the same time and one of them's a Dragon, now we can move over to LC-40 and, um, and prioritize both of those missions. Over the course of 2023, SpaceX began moving tower segments out to Slick 40 and stacking the more than 70 meter tall tower. One of the last big additions came on November 6, 2023, when SpaceX hoisted the all-important crew access arm into place. This, of course, would provide a pathway for astronauts and launch teams to be able to reach the Dragon spacecraft prior to fueling the rocket. Prior to the Crew-8 launch, NASA leadership talked about the importance of bringing more cargo and crew capabilities into the fold. We wouldn't have guessed this 10 years ago uh, here, out here at KSC, but what's become one of the biggest constraints to launching is pad availability, just because business is booming here at, here at the Space Coast and at, at Kennedy with not just SpaceX, but all the, all the folks launching. Uh, and so bringing 40 online just gives us more flexibility to continue our primary mission. And because we have the potential to launch crew from 40, we're going to put it through the same exact same certification process that we did 39A to make sure that it is safe and has the NASA stamp of approval before we put our crew on it. Also ahead of the launch of the crew aid mission, SpaceX tested the new emergency egress system at Pad 40. Sarah Walker, the director of SpaceX's Dragon Mission Management, says certifying this system was the final piece of the puzzle before launching second-generation Dragon spacecraft from Pad 40. We ran a number of tests um, this week um, in a lot of different configurations, including incapacitated crew member. Could you send a, sh a stretcher down this, um, a essentially a slide? We looked at, in a spacesuit, what if the spacesuit is a little bit wet? because of a fire response uh, up on the pad. And so, um, yeah, that was the last piece of the system to come together. Um, it's checked out now. I think also this week we got the final external approvals as well. And lift off of the Falcon 9 rocket and cargo Dragon. The last time a Dragon spacecraft bound for the ISS launched from Slick 40 was SpaceX's CRS-20 mission on March 7th, 2020. Time will tell if NASA and SpaceX decide to fly the Crew-9 mission from this pad or if another group of astronauts will have that distinction of becoming the first crewed dragon to soar from pad 40. Reporting for Spaceflight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.